a Venn diagram can be used to represent certain situations. Now in a class we're told the chance of being male is 0.3. So I can draw a circle to represent the male part of the class. And we're also told about brown hair, which is 0.5. So I can draw a circle to also represent the people with brown hair in the class as well. Now this entire circle here represents the 0.3. And this entire circle here represents the 0.5. And the overlap are the males with brown hair. So that must be 0.2. Now because the entire circle is males, the bit left over here must be 0.1 to make the entire chance of being male equal to 0.3. And then because having brown hair has a chance of 0.5, then the remainder part must be 0. 0.3. And then 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 is 0.6. So the bit outside, which represents neither male nor brown hair, must be 0 0.4. So the entire box adds up to 1. Now this represents males and females, brown hair and not brown hair. Because the chance of being female is anything not inside the male circle, which are these two numbers here. So the chance of being female is 0 0.7. Now part 2 then looks at conditional probability. The chance of being male given the fact the person has brown hair. But there is a formula for this. It is M and B over chance of B. Well, the chance of male and brown hair, given to us 0.2, is the overlap. The chance of having brown hair is that circle, again given to us 0 0.5. So work that out, you get 0.4. So if you know the person has brown hair, there's a 0.4 chance of that person being male. The third one is female given not got brown hair. So again, the chance of being female given not brown hair, B, C, is female and not brown hair over the chance of not brown hair. So, female and not brown hair. Well, the female is anything not in that circle. It is those two numbers. And then, and not brown hair takes us just into this part of the uh, Venn diagram here. So, that's brown hair, that's not brown hair. So, female and not brown hair must be that 0 0.4 there. And the chance of not having brown hair, again, then if you're not in that circle, which is 0.5. So work it out, 0.4 over 0.5, and you get 0.8.